In today's video, these three questions have either been asked to me or I've been asking collectors throughout 2022. Feel free to leave your answers or comments below. And if you want to do a video response, leave a link to that video below as well. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Now let's move on to the questions. All right, guys, question number one. At what price point would you start buying hobby boxes again? One of the biggest questions out there, because we see such an influx of price, I mean, what, three to 500x some of the boxes out there? It, it's been enormous with the price increase. We've seen where boxes have come out at like $600, then they're down to $350 after about three, four weeks, sometimes after two weeks, because distributors or sellers are just not able to move those boxes anymore. For myself, I really thought about this, and I thought if in pre-COVID, I guess we'll call it pre-COVID, until now, if pre-COVID I would have paid $1,000 for a box, I would be looking at like $1,200 now, so about a 20% increase, because you got to think, you're looking at twenty rest of 2019 or 2020 stuff, 2021 stuff, 2022 stuff, so about three years, we're going to see prices go up somewhat because of cost of doing this stuff and then along with just the influctuation of the prices that goes on every year. I'm not talking like clearly authentic where it used to be like $40 a box and now we're paying $80. I, I think realistically something like clearly authentic, it might even been over $100 last I checked. I haven't gotten in the last two years, but I'd be fine with like $69.95 a box or something like that for something like uh, product more into those realms, I would say. Uh, when you start looking at the higher end product, I mean, seriously, who's going to pay multiple thousands of dollars for a National Treasures box when you're not even going to pull the value out of it? I mean, nine times out of ten, it's just not there. It, it's got to come down to where you're looking at if I pull any one of these cards, this is what they're going to sell for. That should be my idea of what a box should cost. Now I'm just talking about like base rookie autographs out there. So for you, if you haven't been buying boxes and you stayed away because the stuff's very expensive, or if you very well limited yourself on what you spent on hobby boxes compared to what you did pre-COVID, at what price point would you start buying boxes again? Moving on to question two, this has probably been one of the popular questions of the last couple months. Will we see less hobby shops in 2023 than we presently have? There's a lot of stuff going behind this due to the fact that uh, the hobby shops have not been able to get wax over the last three years because group breakers and stuff like that out there have such a huge allocation for as much product as they move. Uh, due to the way that the distribution centers were figuring out how much you should get based off of how much you spend. At the same time frame, I've heard a lot of uh, hobby shops here within the last couple of minutes been trying to get in and get Fanatic stuff. They're not able to do it. So is that going to be the end all do all if they're not able to get, you know, hobby boxes and be able to sell packs and boxes again? Will they shut up shop? Because it shows a lot of the individual sales have been going down now. I don't think we've seen a bottom out yet. We're getting close in some areas of it all. But overall, I don't see it because there's other aspects that's going to affect this. Will we see more of the hobby shops start doing like the the physical presence of the store, but also now start having an on, bigger online presence? When you start looking at hobby shops, there's a lot of older people would uh, own those. They're going to have to hire people out if they don't know how to run online stuff. And I'm telling you, that stuff's a headache. You sit there and try to learn it. And it's stuff we weren't taught in high school or college, just simple programming or going on to a, you know, make a banner on a website or use a Photoshop, all that stuff. We weren't taught that in the 90s. I don't know, even in the early 2000s if it was taught. So we have to outsource to it. And that's going to cost money in order to sell and make money. Uh, a lot of the hobby shops I talked to, they're going to try to stick through it through 2023 and see just how the Fanatics thing pulls out. Some of them still have actually directs to Panini. They still have their upper deck as well, too. But 
realistically, a lot of them are in fear that if Panini goes away and somebody out there buys them up, say Fanatics or whatever, and they're not able to get baseball, basketball, and football, that leaves them now with like the gaming and non-sports and hockey. And if it's not a big hockey area, it kind of throws that. I know you still got like UFC and WWE, but primarily you're missing three of the big sports markets out there. Um, soccer will end up falling into that as well, too, because Tops did produce a lot of it. Panini did a little bit of it as well. I know Leaf had their thing going on this year as well. But what do you think? Do you think next year we will see less hobby shops in 2023 than we did in 2022? Will they be shutting their doors down? All right, finally, the last question. It's been out there. A lot of people are talking about there's real... Really only ideas. Nobody knows the answer for sure. You could graph and pie chart this all you want. It's just going to be something It happens. We don't know when. We don't know how quick. All those are just out there. But when do you think the hobby will reset completely? I'm talking about individual card prices, the wax prices of new releases, I can understand some of the older stuff having a bigger value in that, but eventually that stuff's going to start dropping down too in value. And some of it we've seen already, like the LeBron James Topps Chrome uh, high box. I think at one time they were like 30000 and correct me if I'm wrong, I think one just sold around eighteen twenty thousand. 20000 So if you bought that at 30000 you're already down like ten grand on it. But when do you really think that we're going to see a, the hobby reset be complete? It's just going to be, we've now hit where we need to be at. It's time to reset. And we'll start seeing that gradual increase each year. Will you look at it like cards going up based off player performances, Hall of Fame, whatever we judged it on in the past? Because right now, a lot of this stuff still doesn't make sense. A chunk does make sense, but I would probably say 75% doesn't. For me, I thought it would be 2023. And I know somebody just did a video today. And I, it might have been Ziggy No, but I think we're not going to see it now in 2024 because I'm throwing the aspect in of single sales across all sports and non-sports and TCG, wax prices, uh, card shows themselves to be even have a big reset into because there's just too many out there. And it's just the same things over and over again. I don't see the excitement it shows anymore that I once seen where, you know, people came in there and they were excited to be there. Now it's like, am I going to find the deal of the day? Oh, this sucks. This sucks. I mean, it's what you hear constantly. And a lot of people come to my table. I mean, my first question is, how's the show been so far? Do you find anything cool? And a lot of people are like, it's the same stuff over. They're overpriced. They won't budge. You know, we still have to get that fixed, too. Uh, along with, you know, the new release to include the old releases of uh, or the old products for hobby boxes, even retail. Target, Walmart, they keep up and up prices. Eventually, you stop upping those prices up because nobody's going to want that stuff because you're chasing a few, like, I don't want to say rare parallels, but the parallels they put in the box is like three cards per pack. And then they're just overproducing those bases, silver slash hollows, whatever you want to call them out there, refractors. They're just being overproduced where they weren't what was just a hobby only thing. They could select football, select basketball, used to be a hobby only product. I'm wondering if we're going to start seeing more of that stuff start to turn and shift to be in retail. But again, for my answer, I, I don't think we're going to see a complete reset possibly in 2024 because we still have the. The Fanatics acquisition of Tops, how they're going to handle production, how they're going to handle sales. I don't think 2023 is now going to be realistic for the goal. On top of it, we still have grading companies who are lower in prices. I don't think we're at that level to where they're bottomed. And then they're going to start throwing out like PSA, their quarterly specials at like eight, nine dollars a card that we're used to from before. So I, I'm going to go with 2024 on that. But I'll be interested to see what everybody says on these three questions. Like I said, feel free to leave. If you only want to answer one question in the comments or none or all three or you want to do a video response, please put them down there. I encourage everybody to look through everybody's comments because you're going to see different views from different areas. 
where somebody in like Dallas, Texas might be seeing one thing versus the person that's down in Tampa, Florida or Richmond, Virginia or Louisville, Kentucky, like me. It's trying to grasp the whole concept. It's just something that I've been curious about because I know what the answers are that I've been getting from people at the shows in Louisville, Indiana, through down in Tennessee. Now I'm going to see a bigger, broader picture of what everybody's thinking out there. All right, everybody. Hey, I appreciate your time watching this video. Have a good rest of the week. Uh, live tomorrow night, which should be Friday night from when I post this video for overtime at 9 p.m., I'm going to invite Joey back on. Uh, I'll see if Cora from Discord wants to come on with us for a little bit. If anybody else wants to join in, just send me an email, extremecardbreaks at gmail.com. And I could always forward you a Zoom link. Look from like 9 p.m. Eastern to like 10.30ish, maybe 11 p.m. Eastern, the latest. And that way you can see some different topics being talked about. We'll talk a lot about what's already been talked about, but I want to this past week of these but i want to touch base on a lot of these comments are really really good over the past uh the monster show video i did then along with hard shops dying and this here will pretty much be a big roll up or wrap up what i want to use into overtime on friday night all right everybody take care have a good one see you next video